welcome to the in new series of Trishti IAS. My name is Pooja Devi. Today we are going to discuss why Google was fined by CCI over the break under antitrust laws. This topic is very important from the perspective of your preliminary examination and also from the perspective of your mains examination. Particularly if we talk about GS mains paper second and third because in international relations as well. as google is facing certain charges over different countries over the same issue it can be asked in your examination so these are the many topics that we are going to discuss step by step first of all let us talk about the news why has the competition commission of india fined google over rupees 1300 crore for its android devices and there is also an addition of fine over this stipulated amount we will discuss that as well competition commission of india is the competition watchdog of india it consists of one chairperson and six other members and these members as well as the chairperson these are appointed by the central government the competition commission of india is existing since 2003 under the act competition act of 2002 which was further amended in the year 2007 moving ahead if we talk about other parts antitrust law what is an antitrust law this is the competition law of india and it can range from different uh, range by different names in different countries but the overall ambit is antitrust law it protects trade and commerce from unfair restraints monopolies or domination and price fixing as well it wants to ensure the competition is fair and it exists in the open market economy the competition act of 2002 is india's antitrust law it was amended in the year 2007 and it replaced the monopolies and restrictive trade practices act of 1969 on the recommendation of the raghavan committee remember the name of the committee background goes like uh, it's not for the first time that google has been fined it was for the second time so in 2018 rupees 136 crore was imposed on google because of unfair trade practices in india in 2019 it all started when the cci was looking into certain complaints by consumers of android based smartphones so android based smartphones are majorly dominated by google and google apps as well so september 2021 what happened when cci was looking into the matter with respect to the google issue uh, the report leaked and because of that google sued cci okay it had initiated legal action against cci so there was a reverse Now Google's business conduct in the smart TV market as well as its in-app payment system both are under the radar. App in the smart TV market what is it? Because we see that majority of the smart TVs that are Android based they have pre you can say installed apps with respect to Google. So that is the first problem. Second problem is the in-app purchases. Whenever you are going to pay for some purchase for example if you want to purchase youtube premium then the payment option for in app purchase that means going inside the app and doing virtual purchase is dominated by google pay itself so that is the problem because of its market dominance over in app purchase system as well you can see new and other payment systems are not able to crack the market so that is the other problem moving ahead let us talk about the charges it is abusing its dominant position in the market anti competitive policies are there in its in app billing and payment processing section 4 of the competition act says dominant position is a position of strength which is enjoyed by an enterprise in the relevant market in india relevant market could be the market which is you know there are certain market players similarly as google but it still is in dominant position it is kind of working independently and because of that it can abuse this position moving ahead let's talk about the data on which the notions of cci were based that it is dominating it's abusing its dominant position according to the idc center for consultancy and research private limited it was showing that android was the dominant player in the market in india android's market share grew to 98.47% in 2018 from 35.4% in 2014 so we have a data in which google is the most dominant player moving ahead it is saying that because first that secondly 
it is also abusing its dominant market position with respect to play store policies now cci was hearing a clutch of three complaints first was the alliance of digital india foundation which deal in startups with respect to digital india match group that is the dating app they produce dating apps such as tinder hinge ok cupid and ablo and there was a confidential third complainant as well so what was the complaints the allegations were that google was using anti competitive practices in its app billing and payment processing so whenever there is a need to purchase anything virtually with respect to certain apps google pay was the only option no other payment option was there and it results in favoring of google pay over other players play store basically charges 30% commission from app providers that means whatever uh, revenue they were generating through the in app purchase system by which were using google pay play store was getting 30% commission on that and because of that what is what was happening that other players through which in app purchases could have been done by these apps they were charging lower than the google pay usage but they because there was no option they were only left with one choice to use google pay so that is the issue over here moving ahead let us talk about other issues what has the cci said apart from putting penalties charging penalties from the big company google it is also saying that google has to cease and desist from indulging into anti competitive practice and it asks to implement 10 measures Play Store policies they require the app developers to mandatorily use Google Play's billing system even after certain in-app purchases. So this is even for certain in-app purchases. So this is what what we have already discussed. So this should also try to get improved according to the CCI. Moving ahead, let's talk about the penalty. Penalty has been provided in two rounds. First round was. was on 20th october and second one was on 25th october okay so there were two penalties two batch of penalties first was rupees 1337.76 crore for abusing its dominant position in multiple market through the android and then rupees 936.44 crore on the company for abusing its dominant market position with respect to its play store policies which is not letting other apps to develop their market in on play store So how is penalty calculated according to section 27 of the competition act the competition commission of india has the power to impose such penalty as it may deem fit but it should not be more than 10% of the average turnover for the last three preceding financial years and in the android case the current case the penalty has been charged 10% of the revenue generated or arising accruing from india which is attributable to the services available in india now in a landmark judgment of 2014 the supreme court had ruled that the penalty should be imposed not on the total or entire turnover of the offending company but on relevant turnover relevant turnover is basically what relevant turnover is described as entity's turnover pertaining to such services you can say which are in contravention to the whatever offenses there so that is the relevant turnover moving ahead let's talk about google starts Competition Commission of India according to Google was a major setback for Indian consumers and business and it would review the decision before taking the next step. It also said Google spokesperson said that Indian developers have benefited from the market created by Google from tech security and consumer protection and unrivaled choice and flexibility that Google Play and Android support. So that is the problem. Moving ahead let us talk about other antitrust issues around the world. Google is facing such antitrust issues in US, UK, European Union as well as other countries. Google faced three probes in US and the European Union because of the search related activities as well as advertising sales market. In European Union, Google faces nearly 8 billion fine and Indonesia's competition watchdog has started investigating into Google and its use of proprietary payment services for the Play Store where it is again dominant. Moving ahead Google also got a third antitrust probe from UK's competition watchdog App Store payment to earlier investigation into advertising rulers for in app billing Now in 2017 if we move back the European Commission fined Google 2.42 billion euros for breaching the European Union's antitrust rules and the European Court of Justice General Courts confirmed the decision that means 
uh, when this decision was reviewed by the court, it was confirming that yes, this is the problem of Google. EU's executive commission has put a fine of more than 4 billion euros back then. Moving ahead, let us talk about our question that you have to answer in the comment segment. Which of the following sections of the Competition Act 2002 deals with the penalty powers of CCI? So, these are the many options that we have given. You have to answer it correctly. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.